Welcome back to Action Tracks from Lima, Ohio at the Spring Four Wheel Jamboree. Here you see some of the great tough truck action that the Jamboree featured. Clearly these guys take it seriously, but we're gonna get into Sunday action. We've got racing on a tricky S track and the first two trucks are coming to the line. It's Dan Patrick and Samson versus Dave Rife and Chalkboard Chuck. Rife, this is actually his first opportunity behind the chalkboard chuck. They had a seat free up on the chalkboard chuck team, and Dave Rife is stepping in, filling in, kind of helping out right now. But right now, it is all Dan Patrick and Samson just putting a flat thumping on the chalkboard chuck truck. Wow, this wasn't even a race. Dan Patrick flexing those big muscles. Tim Hall, the old pro, is stepping behind the wheel of Ramunition. It'll be fun. Um, this is different now because I've, I haven't driven a truck with automatic in it since uh, the early 1990s, so um, or late 1980s. So uh, it's a little bit different for me, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. It'll be fun. Matt had to go be with his daughter for a, a dance thing or something, so I'm the, I guess I'm the next man. We'll see what happens. Tim Hall back behind the wheel. The truck with the automatic that he was referencing was actually the big boss, the Hall brothers' first truck, an old leaf spring truck. And, and so that's a long time ago with a, a completely different setup. So we'll see how Hall adapts to the Ramunition truck, a vastly different piece of equipment. Tim Hall with a very respectable showing for himself. He's in the race. Keep it right up there, but it looks like it's going to be Bobby Bowman in the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Tim Hall, nothing to hang his head about in that one. The E3 Spark Flux, Bigfoot, Dan Runday against Jim Kohler, Mr. Excitement in the Avenger truck. Bigfoot leading into the first turn. Right here through that center section, it'll look like the truck that has the inside turn has the lead, but it should even up if it's a tight race coming through this second turn where the truck on the outside originally has the inside, but this one's gonna go to Dan Runte in Bigfoot. Chris Bergeron in the General Tire Monster Truck against Mark Hall in the Raminator. This is gonna be a tough pairing for Bergeron. I will be flat out honest, Mark Hall is nearly impossible to beat in racing. And it looks like Bergeron has spun it out in the first turn. He's just crippled his hopes of winning this race. This is going to be all Mark Hall, the Raminator. It's going to roar into the semifinal round. We're into semifinal action. Samson versus the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. The battle of the old veterans. This could be quite a matchup. Dan Patrick pulling a little bit of a lead down into the first turn. Bobby Holman actually getting ready to pack up the Lucas Oil Stabilizer, Star Marshal Chalkboard Chuck and the Air Dog and head down to Costa Rica. And it looks like he's going on the trailer right now, so he can start packing it up right now. Dan Patrick and Samson flexing the muscles, going into the final round for the first time this weekend. This is a matchup you expect to see in the final round. Bigfoot versus the Raminator. This should be an all-out war. And they're both pulling wheelies. Oh, look! Paul's in trouble! Hall oh, two-wheeling on the front stretch there. He's in deep trouble now. Runte stretching out a lead. Hall's not giving up. He's trying to catch the big Ford. Hall's in it. Oh, he's mashing on that Hemi motor. Dan Runte holding him on his hip. Runte doing just enough, I think, to hold him on his hip. What a race. What a moment for Hall. Heads up driving there, pulling the Raminator back down onto all four wheels, and then making a race of it. Wow. Ronte was happy about that. But it's finals time. Dan Patrick and Sampson wants to take a great big victory here in Lima versus Bigfoot. Dan Ronte, the man that is stretching out his point series lead on the Jamboree series.
neck and neck heading into the first turn. They're neck and neck coming out of the final turn. Patrick carrying the momentum and is going to steal the final victory of the weekend. A great victory for Dan Patrick in Sampson. Moving into freestyle competition, our final freestyle of the weekend. Air Dog, Michelle Simpson coming out first. She's sporting the diesel monster truck. She's behind the wheel of this great big truck. But this lady stands four feet, 11 inches tall and can't be more than 100 pounds. She's doing a good job getting accustomed to the diesel monster truck, putting on a good solid show. You can really hear the suspension working in the diesel truck because the diesel is so much quieter than an alcohol injected truck. The score is gonna be a 17, a good solid way to start the, the show. Greg Winchenbatch in the Crustacean, a spectacular moment in the first round, and yet again, Winchenbatch sets the tail on the track. Literally, he set the tail on the track. He left the tail, broke it off, and left it on the freestyle track. Busted up the wheelie bar yet again. But that's what it's there for. Somebody grab that tail and get some butter. Winch and Batch has proven to be a, a top-notch freestyle competitor all weekend long. We gotta take a look back at that freestyle moment that he started the run with, setting the tail in the dirt. The move of the weekend, no doubt. The score's only gonna be an 18. Didn't quite fill all the time. Tim Hall on the track in the Ramunition. We saw him put on a respectable run in racing. Let's see what he can do in freestyle. A good start in the Ramunition truck. You'd think the guy has never been out of the seat. Whipping it into a donut on the far end of the track. We're actually getting word that it's Mark Hall stepping behind the wheel of the Ramunition. So Mark perhaps doing double duty today. Uh, also gonna be piloting the Raminator. Putting on a great show in the Ramunition. Hitting a little bit of everything. You saw a great slap wheelie there. Attacking everything on the track. Whipping it into a donut out in the outfield. I simply love the donuts in the outfield where the drivers can really match those big cleats into the grass and fling the mud everywhere. Oh, another little slap wheelie. Really putting on quite a spectacular run. This could take the lead. We'll have to see what the judges say. The score is going to be a 22. Mark Hall in the Ramunition taking the freestyle lead. Dave Redzier is coming onto the track in the Star Marshal. Dave, another one of those drivers getting ready to head down to Costa Rica. Uh, he's got a long boat ride ahead of him. But he's putting on a little bit of a show here. There you see a, a nice donut to round out the run. The score is going to be a 17. Not going to be good enough here tonight. Mark Hall back behind the wheel of another of the big Hall Brothers Ram trucks. It's Raminator. Let's see if he can match his performance in the Ramunition. Hall putting on a 
solid little run. Not quite up to the, the snuff of the Ramunition run. I don't know, maybe he tired himself out a little bit. The score's only gonna be a 17. It's the man on the mission for the weekend, Dan Runte and Bigfoot cross-threading. First time this weekend we've seen anybody cross-threading the obstacles. A, a nice new perspective. Dan Runte thinking outside the box, trying to sneak a freestyle victory away from the Avenger truck. But right now he's got to wrestle with Mark Hall in the Ramunition, who put on an excellent run. Really hear the tires slapping on, on that solid surface of the front stretch. Runte pulling a nice little slap wheelie over the big van stack. Onto the front straight away. Some nice air over the racing lane. The score on the freestyle is going to be a 22. That will tie him with Mark Hall in the Ramunition. The only one that can break that tie is Jim Kohler in Avenger. And I'm sure he's going to be on a mission to do just that. Kohler's put on some great freestyles throughout the weekend. He's swept two of the three freestyles so far didn't compete in the first freestyle on Friday night featured in our first episode from Lima. Kohler gonna do all he can to make it three out of four. Roaring onto the track, carrying some great momentum so far. Big air and, and a great donut down on the far end of the track. of Kohler. One thing after another, Kohler is comboing a little bit of everything, keeping great momentum going and combining that with some huge air on the obstacles. Whipping it into a donut back in the backfield. More dirt slinging. Kohler putting on a clinic so far. Showing all these guys what it means to carry some freestyle momentum. He just keeps going. Kohler's out here endurance racing in freestyle. He's been out here in eternity. And he's in the mud bog. Kohler is in the deep pit, mud bogging the Avenger truck. A unique moment that'll really score well with the judges. But that's not all for Kohler. He's back on the front straightaway again. Attacking the car and van stacks out there. This guy is not stopping and he is getting bigger and bigger air as he goes. The score is going to be a 27. He blows it out of the water and takes freestyle. That's all for action tracks from Lima, Ohio. We've had a great time at the Spring Four Wheel Jamboree Nationals. We saw Jim Kohler in Avenger rock the freestyle house all weekend long. Until next time on Action Tracks, we'll see you then. There's broken stars Every we'll back in the sky Why?